clients feel after a DWI arrest, it's a pretty traumatic experience. They've spent time in jail. Uh, they've gotten out of jail. There's anxiety over trying to locate their vehicle, whether it's been parked or whether it's been towed. Uh, they're starting to get hit with a lot of money worries. They've been bailed out. Uh, they're, they're getting their car out of the impound. So usually by the time they see me, uh, they're upset. They're scared. They don't know what's going on with their driver's license. And so what I try to do is explain what's facing them, what's going to happen immediately that they need to address and what's going to happen down the road. I think a mistake that a lot of lawyers make is they look at these cases as just another DWI. And I say some lawyers, definitely not all lawyers. But what I try to do is treat every case differently. There's no formula to a DWI. Each case has its own specific set of facts and its own specific set of variables and, and and issues within the case. Uh, there's numerous ways the state of Texas can stub its toe along the way in trying to work up the case against them. And I, I try to look at the case from every angle and look at all the reasons of, uh, of why that particular person was stopped in the first place, whether the field sobriety tests were done correctly, whether a breath or a blood test, whether those particular tests were done correctly. And I think these cases are definitely winnable. It just depends on this particular facts of the case and how the uh, particular lawyer approaches those facts and those defenses in the case.